my best, um, I wasn't sure what the best way was to turn in my Pissarro shapes and my, uh, scene sketches. So I thought maybe a video would be easier than, like, taking a bunch of pictures and then, like, adding text to all of them. Um, so let me know if you want me to turn this in a different way too, because I can take pictures if you'd rather see those. Um, but here we go. Um, this is the tower I sketched. Um, you've seen this one before, um, and I still haven't done the color one. I, I envision it being Rapunzel's Tower from Into the Woods. Um, I never did a color one. I still have a page for it. Because <laughs> um, it was, this took me so long to draw, so I, I still want to do a color one, but I, um, I think I'll probably do it this summer once all my other classes are over. Um, so there's that. Uh, this is a sketch we did in class, um, the water bottle and book and stuff. Um, so you've seen that one before as well. This is like a pill bottle, um, and, uh, I think you've seen this one as well. It's, it's like an empty, uh, travel pill container. Um, and this is some more sketches. This is a Clementine. Um, there are two sources of light for that one, so that's why there's two shadows and then, like, a darker shadow in the middle. Um... This is supposed to be kind of a Taurus. <laughs> um, it's part of like a Clementine peel I sort of made into a Taurus just because I thought it would be interesting to sketch. Um, and it was definitely weird. Um, so that's that's what that one is. Um, this is a Mary Poppins backdrop. You've also seen this one before. Um, so that's the the black and white backdrop and then there's the color version, uh, and I told you, uh, when we showed these in class that the reason that I did these, uh, part, this part in marker, um, and the rest of it, uh, like with colored pencil is because I was thinking that I would have benches that looked just like the backdrop, um, actually on the set so that it would look sort of like the benches and the lampposts are real and part of the set but the rest of the backdrop is sort of very painted and like um sort of impressionistic I guess like not not um not as real as the bench and the lampposts um and then let's see this is another sketch that's a um pencil sharpener um this is a Taurus it's a curtain ring I think like from a shower curtain like what you use to hang it on the shower curtain um uh, rod so that's what that is in that one um this is one of my professor's handbags um and I just tried to sketch it I think this is where they start to be new um I just tried to sketch her handbag uh and get the shadows right um so that's what that is uh this is um, we did this in class, and, um, in paint, obviously, and I tried to do it with colored pencil just to see if it would look similar or the same, um, so that's, that's what that is, um, this is a floor treatment, so this is for A Year with Frog and Toad, um, this is the black and white version, um, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on there. And then this is the color. Um, and I'm noticing it's kind of hard to tell what the colors are on video, but it's like, um, it's lots of browns and a little bit of green and like really orange and red. Um, cause I was envisioning like, you know, Southern dirt, <laughs> uh, up here in the North, the dirt is like brown. I, I'm, I'm, I think you've probably lived a few places. You, you probably know that. Um, but you, you, as you know, South Carolina dirt is like red and can be kind of orangish and very clay. So that's the colors I was using for, for um, that dirt. Um, and this is one of my dog's toys. It's like a rabbit. Uh, and so I tried to sketch it while it was laying on the floor. Um, I don't know if you can tell that it's a rabbit. I can tell that it's a rabbit. Like I can, see, this is like, this is its nose here. Like this is the head and, um. Uh, his nose is right there, this is an ear, this is an ear, and that's a, a leg, so, um, but I, I think it turned out, I, this is one of the sketches I'm the proudest of, just because it, um, I can kind of tell what it is, um, so that's that one, this is a Kleenex box, um, that I sketched in color, um, and I tried to make the top and the side different, uh, shades, 
So that's the Kleenex box. Um, this is another backdrop uh, from Bright Star. Um, so it looks really boring in the black and white one. Um, it's it's just like two hills and a train. Um, and the train is like a, uh, I guess it's more of a prop really. It's like a, it's a toy train that goes by in front of the set a little bit. Um, but here's the color version. Um, and it's like a sunset with the two mountains and the train going by in the front. Um, and again, that's from Bright Star. Um, this is another round shape. Um, this is kind of, I, I was, the one I did, I showed you earlier, that was, like, based on a shape we did in class. I was trying to do the same thing, but with red, because I feel like I have trouble with reds. Like, making them, I feel like just reds never turn out quite the way I want them to, and so I, um, was trying with colored pencil to see if I could do the same kind of thing that we did in class, but with red. Um, and I would say I'm moderately pleased with this. Uh, I think you can tell where the highlight is, um, at least. The shadow, the shadow on the shape you can't see as well, but, um, the highlight turned out okay. Uh, this is the bottom of a lamp, um, and the shadows on it were, like, crazy weird, and so that's why I tried to do this shape, um, and I think it doesn't look anything like <laughs> the actual shadows that are, that were on the lamp, but I was trying to just draw what I saw, and, um, it still didn't turn out, but it was an interesting experiment anyway. Um, and then, okay, that this page is for another class, but this is um, a flash drive that I tried to draw, because um, the shadows on the, on it and the highlight were so, like, perfectly defined from each other, and so I was trying to, like, get those different um, types of shadows. Um, this page is for another class. Uh, here's, okay, this is, uh, a set for Happy Days, um, not the TV show, but the, the play by Samuel Beckett, um, and so this is the black and white, um, and it doesn't look very interesting, uh, and then this is the color, so it's, uh, there's the pile of sand in the middle, um, they're on, like, a beach, um, I'm, I would envision, like, the whole set covered in sand, um, as impractical as that is, and the back is a, uh, um, scrim, uh, with, like, probably blue or, like, daylight on it, um, and then there's, like, a beach chair facing the back, um, and those pages are for another class, uh, those pages were just me being crazy, uh, and here is, this is, like, a flower pot, I guess, um, the plant in it was so tiny, so I, I didn't draw that part, um, but it's like, uh, yeah, it's a piece of pottery, I guess. Um, so I drew that. This is, I honestly don't even remember what object I was drawing here. Probably a dish of some kind. Um, and just, uh, I guess mostly here, I was just trying to get, like, shadows on the side, because the light was coming from, like, where I was sitting. Uh, and so trying to get the shadows, like, going towards the edge. Um, right. It was a different angle of light than I had used before. Oh, and this is, um, I guess this isn't maybe what you were looking for. But I, um, I was trying, I was playing pointillism. And, um, I think I did okay, at least, showing, like, where the shadow was within the pointillism. So I thought... I mean, I don't know if this counts or not, but there it is. <laughs> um, it's pretty anyway. Uh, let's see. That's just sketches. Um, this is another floor treatment for uh, God of Carnage, um, which is in a living room. So uh, this is the black and white one, and then here's color. And so it's supposed to be carpet, um, but I didn't want it to be, like, just exactly carpet. So I guess I was thinking it would be sort of painted, and now that I'm thinking about it, that would be sort of ridiculous to paint carpet on a regular floor. That didn't even occur to me until right now. <laughs> anyway, but there it is. Um, it's, it's, so it's, like, red, and then there's spots of, like, orange and more defined carpet pattern on it. Um, so, anyway, I don't know what to make of that. This is, um, just a box, 
I drew and um, I was playing around with highlight and shadow and I think I used maybe a little bit too bold of colors to be realistic but you know if this was a highlight and then this is a shadow and this is kind of a neutral in the middle. Um, this is a bottle of lotion I drew. Um, I was trying to just get the shadow. I was pretty proud of how the bot on the bottom like you can tell like I even the green kind of fades into a darker like shadow on the side. Um, this is just a glass uh, that I clearly didn't work very hard on. Uh, and this is a bird feeder. Um, and I guess the light was kind of coming from above on this. So that's what that is. I think that's all that I, oh, here, this is from Thoroughly Modern Millie. This is like, uh, the hotel, I guess. So this is black and white and then color, um, kind of oldish looking wallpaper. Um, maybe it's hard to see those colors too. It's like, it's like orangish, uh, am it's sort of an amber, um, and then with the doors and you can't even hardly see the doorknobs on those doors, but they're there. <laughs> um, I think that might, yeah, that's the end of those. So anyway, um, yeah, that's all my sketches. I didn't do as many like scene sketches as I did Pissarro shapes. So I hope that's okay. Um, I hope you liked them. Okay. Um, and I will see you for our exam, uh, tomorrow.